This video is sponsored by Keen. Everyone deserves a psychic reading. Psychic readings can provide the breakthrough that you never knew you needed. Keen advisors are available 24 seven. There's always someone online. Keen provides access to vetted psychics and spiritual advisors who give guidance and insight on life's challenges, clarity and love, relationships, career, and more. As a new Keen customer, you can try your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. Just use the URL trykeen.com slash Vanessa Moon. Hey, what's up, Leo? Vanessa Moon here. It's so good to talk to you. It's good to see you guys. I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a what's the tea reading. This reading is designed just to fill in the gaps for any extra messages about any of the situations going on for you in the next 30 days. Whenever you get this reading is when you're meant to hear it. Of course, all readings are timeless, but it'll still be for whatever 30 days comes after whenever you see it, okay? Um, just to fill in the gaps between like, you know, everything is always a love reading or about your person and there's other things that happen during the month. Um, maybe it'll be about love, who knows? But these are just extra messages. I'm not gonna be tying the messages together. I'm just gonna get five messages and clarify them and whatever comes out for that all right okie dokes so again tea leaves five of those and then we'll clarify with this game of thrones deck i'll get some blessings card to see why things are happening i'll get some love messages oracle kipper deck and maybe like some advice all right shouldn't be too long maybe 10 minutes let's go let's go all right first message sunrise leo new creative ideas new ventures and a fresh start the sun rises there for you guys wow so the sun is rising this this month weeping willow family sorrow maybe after some family sorrow we'll clarify that with the weeping willow all oh, right there i mean it's not even like you guys can you see that there you go mm -hmm. all right what else leo this month for leo what messages do we have november so we have the month of november here I'll pull an extra one. Um, whenever I get a month, I'll just pull an extra one. We have kangaroo. So unsettled times need to plan ahead. Maybe November. Let's see. Could be someone born in November. So could something gonna happen last November? Playing out now or to coming in November. Um, the carrot. Ooh, an opportunity or a windfall. Hey, I like that. Okay. Let's get one more for Leo. One more for Leo. And then you have ant. Work, achievement, and success. So keep working. Work hard like a like an ant. Okay. See so if ant there. Let's see. Work, achievement, success. Okay. All right. So overall, not bad. Some people's readings are not so successful, Leo. All right. So sunrise. New creative ideas. New ventures. First start, what's that about with the sunrise? You have the page of swords reverse. You have the five of cups reverse. So somebody's stalking the mess out of you. Hangman reverse could be a Pisces or Gemini Libra Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. Or a, is you, Leo, under here. Camp wants. Um, could be an Aries or Sag uh, Sagittarius or another Leo. However, there's somebody here that's not taking action right now, but they have a plan. They're studying you, maybe for a new opportunity. Um, maybe applied for something and they're really trying to see if you're the right person for the job. But my thing is I'm seeing that they're looking at their perspective has changed and they're realizing they would it would be a missed opportunity to not have you in the mix. So that's what that sunrise is. Somebody is looking at you for a new venture. They're they're loving your plan, your ideas. Yeah, and they feel like there's no one better for the job. They're not saying anything right now, they're just really studying you. Um, they want to make you an offer. Weeping Willow, Family Sorrow, Eight of Coin Reverse, or Eight of Cups Reverse, Eight of Swords Reverse, Two Eights, so something inevitably happened, but a change, a shocking change. It was meant to be Sagittarian energy here. Healing is coming after being released. Someone's up, someone who could have got released from jail, released from a job, I'm trying to heal now. There's going to be a loss of money, or somebody stopped putting an effort towards... They're getting out of the denial and healing their beliefs. Um, 
somebody could feel like they're unconventional and they're releasing themselves from judgment with their family. There could be also church beliefs here that somebody's are not aligning with your family's church beliefs or traditional beliefs. Healing from that. How you're learning here, higher institution. Somebody's getting unstuck from a situation where it wasn't working and they don't care about the there's some, it may make someone sad, but they're just going to do it anyway. Yeah, crying person here. What is November here? But there is a loss of money or a change in a job here. But it's for the better. Somebody could be going back to school here. Something about the family is upset, because, but it's healing and it's getting someone strong in their beliefs. So it's just what it is, what it is, right? In November, you have new love. Uh, Six of Cups. Could be a Scorpio, because you have Scorpio energy here. Um, Justice Reverse, Ace of Cups. So somebody who feels like it's not right or karma didn't go in their favor with a soul tie. Well, you're getting a new love in November. Just practice self-love. It's heal, heal your inner child because something didn't work out. It was never supposed to. Okay? There could be a Libra involved there. Um, it says karmic balance. It wasn't supposed to work out. It was just supposed to teach you about self-love and to heal your inner child, heal your past life trauma or your or your a child, your inner child trauma or your childhood trauma, and teach you self-love. Windfall. You have a lump sum of money here. It's a coins. Carrot, the carrot, which is a windfall, um, it says opportunity or windfall is clarified by the nine of swords and the ace of pentacle. Let's see one more. Let's clarify the carrot. Four of Wands, woo, and the Queen of Cups. So there could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio of significance, Leo. It doesn't have to be. It just could be the, somebody's feeling like tender, open, open-hearted, emotionally balanced and stable, ready to offer, ready for the next thing, ready for a new, um, new beginning, stability, work-wise. This could be going to work at a new place, an event, going to a work event, being offered something after much anxiety or feeling trapped or stuck, also feeling like you couldn't get out of your head about what you were going to do. Well, this is saying it's all in your head. You Maybe you're worried about this opportunity, if you're going to get this job or not. You got it. And you got a windfall of more money as well. It's an up level. It's an increase in money here. So now you have a kangaroo. Okay, that says unsettled times and a need to plan ahead. Clarify that. Nine of coins. This is about your money. This is about bad decision making. This is about not listening to other people. Don't be backed into a corner. Choose your battles wisely. Somebody could be going crazy about money. Well, you have financial gain here. So just plan with the money you have. It's saying don't make a bad decision based on feeling um, feeling like you are you have to. Backed into a corner or feeling sad for somebody. Also have to hear of people needing you. People asking you for money. Feeling Playing to your emotions, Leo. Don't let them. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. And... Um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio it doesn't have to be but they're saying that there is something to be gained here but not by listening to anyone else but they're saying take time to analyze a decision before you make a decision and analyze the situation before you make a decision these unsettled times are here because this person somebody around you is manipulative angry cold okay and it's saying this is make, supposed to make you learn how to keep your resources to yourself Fight the choose your battles wisely and not be so compassionate to everyone and then you'll be okay. Alright? Now you have work, achievement, and success with the ant. Clarify the ant here. I see a lot of financial gain for you this month though, Leo. The next 30 days. So there's a failed investment here. Somebody's not taking action. They're cutting their losses. They're severing their ties. And they're just going to focus on their work, achievement, and success. It didn't work. Whatever wasn't working in the past, you can keep taking action towards it. Or whatever. Somebody's lost the fire. They're not excited anymore. Um, there could have been some betrayal, some hurt, some words spoken that were negative. And somebody's feeling like it's whatever it is. You just need to focus on work and achievement, success in the future. Um, abandon this thing that you were going to take action to that it keep or you keep trying and failing don't don't do that focus on what makes you happy and then you'll have success with that energy okay with the nine of cups that's your which is coming true after a hard time because you just keep working but you're not the important message here is not investing in things that fail anymore you have sudden wealth here what I tell you financial gain this month Leo financial gain wealthy man here sudden wealth 
child. Some of y'all could be birthing a child or just birthing a new opportunity that makes you wealthy suddenly. Something pays off after long, hard work and high honor. Getting that accolades, getting that, getting that attention and respect you deserve. Nice, Leo, nice. All right, so what is the blessing for Leo this month? In this next 30 days, what is the blessing? What's the T? A blessing to find the truth? Interesting. Okay. A blessing to find the truth. Number 25. So that's getting on the heavenly path, taking the higher road, making a decision that even though it might hurt someone's feelings, you're going to take the higher road and use your wisdom. Going on your life purpose, stick to your life purpose. Um, number 37, that's a 10, so something instantly happens, something is created, and all because you took the higher road, something beautiful comes out of it, a blessing, um, something invisible, a miracle, and it says, a, a blessing for unity where there was once division. Interesting. All right, so there's that, and let's get you a love message, love message for Leo, love message says taking a break, not necessarily a breakup, take time apart, allow for a new perspective, center and meditate. One more, let's get to our video. The stork, a new addition, ideas manifested, pregnancy, baby, child, children, family, good news and inspiration. Ooh, stork, which is about a child and child, which is about a child. So some of y'all this month could be about children, However that resonates for you. One more message for Leo. You got meditate again. Strong need for you to meditate this month. Meditate daily. Follow your intuition. Find inner peace. And balance alone or with your partner. And some of y'all got one date. These messages don't have to go together, by the way. Give it at least one date. If it takes time to know someone, take a chance and switch up your type. It's your advice, Leo. All right, let's look at the Moonology deck. Let's see. Let's see if we can get any timing off of this. Let's show me what I need to see for Leo. Work through your fears. New Moon in Scorpio. That's November. November came up twice now. Yeah, ooh, Sudden Wealth came out over November. Just so you know. Work through your fears. You might have Sudden Wealth in November. Something that's failing, though, don't put into that anymore. That's done. That's failed. Just work hard at what you know works. And it says, nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable. Be mutable, okay? Be be flexible there. Mutable moon in your soul. Don't have your soul attached to anything, because it says nothing is set in stone. All right, so this is my bag of tricks. There's just whatever, any message that you need to hear. It's in here. Take what resonates, okay? I made these little cards, little, little flash cards. All right, what messages do I have for Leo out of my bag of tricks? This was racy. Um, I touch myself when I think of you. Ooh. What else? What else? What messages do we have for Leo? Scorpio. You keep getting Scorpio. And it's funny. I was like thinking... This is very Scorpionic energy. I touch myself when I think of you, and then Scorpio came out. And then you got New Moon in Scorpio, and you got November. And then you kept getting this Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. So, that's significant for some of y'all. That's the answer y'all needed to hear. You need to see it's ear, ear got your answer, okay? Um, it says, I have so many questions. The five W's, who, what, when, where... Somebody has a fake profile. They watch you on a fake profile. It says you have a stalker here. Um, somebody does want a relationship with you there too. It says, my biggest mistake was never telling you how I felt about you when I had the chance, Leo. Somebody feels like that. That's probably this one date stalker person here that wants to bring you a new creative venture, a fresh start. Some of the cards are lining up, so I'm just trying to pick out the obvious messages, okay? You have this person, this hangman reverse, that's like a flayed man. They feel vulnerable. They feel like there's nothing else to wait for. They've been waiting, 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 and they want one date with you, and they feel their biggest mistake was never telling you how they felt about you when they had the chance. Let's get one more message from Leo. 
gossip. Somebody talking about you, ears hot. Alright, that's the message I have for you, Leo.